Hey guys, I'm going to give you a little demo here of how the DirecTV app works for the iPad. Um, I'm, I'm in love. <laughs> I love it. Um, so first over here you see uh, what you're watching now. Uh, the showing, how long it takes, you know, what time it's on, what time it ends. The name of the episode and a little brief description of what it is. It shows your channel number at the top. It's on Comedy 249. Is it is an HD, but the program itself is actually not an HD. So you can see here that it has the bars across the side. You can kind of you can't really tell it's dark. Uh, so it has the bars across the side because it's actually not in HD. But there's that little tab that shows you what you're watching now. Down here you've got recommended shows for what you might like. Um, I guess I would like all those. Um, the middle here is what's hot. It's just things that it recommends that you might want to watch that are on right now. Is this on right now? Might not be on right now. I don't know. Let's try it. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, might be on demand. I'm not real sure how that works. Um, it's recommended. And then here's favorite channels. I've just added a few uh, to just kind of give a little example here. Um, these are all some locals up here at the top. It shows you the channel name, what's on. Uh, so if there's something you see you want to go to, you just you just hit it, and it goes straight to it. Um, which is what I love about this because uh, let's do Futurama there. I can watch it on TV, and as you see, the TV just changed. Obviously, it's not the actual show. It's just a commercial right now. Let's zoom back over here. Sorry for all the focusing going on. Then I have live streaming. This is for the iPad. So uh, if there's something, um, these are just things that I can live stream. I don't really know how that works just yet. It's just a tab. So uh, another little neat little function here is the remote. Uh, pulls up like a real remote um, with a simple button here. I can pause the TV. You hear? It. You don't hear it anymore play. Hear it now. I can actually skip uh, forward here. Are we watching? No, okay, we're on live TV, so I can just go to the end there. Skip through all the paused parts. Pretty much has everything the remote has. Menu, guide, list, on demand. Everything that your remote could have. It operates exactly like the remote. Even the channel works, it works as a page down button. That is probably one of my favorite features of the whole thing. Um, here's your playlist. Everything that you've recorded uh, is now right here. Um, pretty simple. Want to watch something, you just hit it. Uh, you can see three episodes that we've recorded here. You can watch on TV. As you can see, the TV has now changed to the recording of Aqua Teen. Let me pull up the remote here on the screen. I'm going to do this off camera. I'm going to hit info so you can see just what I'm watching there, Aqua Teen. And I did it straight through this. Have not touched the actual uh, physical remote. And this, this handles all your, your recordings. You can do that at any time. Um, I know you're saying, well, you have the Genie, but uh, you're only on the main TV. Does this work for the others? Actually, yes, it does. Um, the TV has to be on to be recognized. Um, I don't think we ever programmed the third box, so right now we only see bedroom and B, whatever B is. I can switch straight to B and that's the uh, living room receiver. So we'll close back out of that. We're going to stay on the bedroom receiver for now. Another neat little thing the app has is the guide where you can actually just uh, sort through different things that they have to offer a uh, different channel. You can actually look at every channel you have that you get. A uh, neat little fun thing here is uh, if you don't get the channel, it actually darks out. I don't think these are darked out. <laughs> I don't think that's quite exactly what I was uh, trying to explain here. Let's go. We'll just scroll a couple hundred times and see what happens. I, there's not many channels that I don't get, but if you don't get the channel, um, it should gray it out. So it's like letting you know, okay, you don't get this, but this is what's on it, you know. Uh, so it's it's customized to what you have. I had it over at 4 a.m. for some reason, so I've moved it back over. As you can see now, we're at 12.30. Um, these are not showing anything. 
hard hard to to prove an example here when I can't find a channel that I don't actually get. Not unless I just don't get those others. I don't I don't know. Anyways, let's go back to the top. You can use this easy selector back up to the local channels now, and there's what's on. Uh, movies. I was browsing through that myself just now. Uh, these are some interesting little movies that they've got playing. Uh, most of them have a dollar sign next to them. Which means they are not free. And I've lost my focus. Hold on. Two seconds. There we go. Uh, they have a dollar sign next to them. And it's uh, still kind of blurry, but whatever. You can find them uh, like one there that doesn't have a dollar sign. That's kind of how you know what's free, what's not. You can turn HD only on. I currently have it set that way because I particularly like the HD only. There we go. Now can I see those? Still a little blurry, but whatever. Um, and then you've got your Sports Center, which is pretty neat. You can see current games playing right now uh, and the scores of those games. And I can do uh, upcoming and obviously there's no score but it just tells you who's playing so if you have one you like you can open it up here and it will tell you more information about when it plays um, what channel 650 um, they play at 7 I guess 7 to 1 is the suggested time for that um, so that's really neat um, I don't do a lot of sports but but you've got that option. I know uh, my dad in the past has called me and said, hey, what channel is this game on? And I'm like, I have no idea. This would be great. Uh, I could go straight in here and tell him, hey, here the Braves are playing the White Sox, channel 646. He doesn't actually have direct TV, uh, so that doesn't help him. And I don't even know if he gets what FSSOHD is. I don't even know what that channel is. But if he gets it, then I could tell him to go to go watch it. Maybe he should switch to DirecTV. I don't know. <laughs> and then uh, last tab here on the bottom is watch on iPad. I kind of covered that a little bit. You got your TV shows such as On Demand that you can watch here on the iPad. Um, pretty much anything. You can do your movies as well that are On Demand. Uh, anything On Demand can be watched on the iPad but most of them cost. Like these movies are all, you know, uh, I can go over here to live TV, and this is a, a genie thing. It comes straight off of the genie. I think you have to be on your Wi-Fi to use it. I haven't tried using it off of Wi-Fi. I didn't pay for my data plan, as you guys can see. So um, I haven't tried it off of Wi-Fi. But basically, you just uh, choose a network here. This is live. It tells you what's on the network. And um, let's see. South Beach Toe is on True TV. So I just hit it up here, watch. I can tell if I want to do it on the TV. Okay, it closed, that's cool. The app does refresh a lot, I've noticed. I guess, uh, yeah, we just hit 12.30, so South Beach Toe just went off. That's why it refreshed, unless it's just coming on again. I can watch on iPad. You can tell it to watch it on the TV, but you can watch it on the iPad as well. There's live of, uh, of what's on right now on TV, and I put it full screen. And um, you get your fake towing show there. You can watch that all you want, I guess. But uh, I don't know. I, I vote to change this channel to, to Lie TV because uh, nothing is true. <laughs> it just, it's not true. So anyway, um, close that out. That's Live TV. And that's pretty much a good overview of what the DirecTV app is and how it works. Um, I haven't compared this to other competitors such as Dish Network, but uh, we got DirecTV yesterday and this is just a whole new, this opened a whole new door for me. Um, I, I was having a lot of trouble, you know, understanding the remote and how things work with the system. Uh, you know, just, just trying to, to figure it out. I made that tip and trick this morning of something I couldn't figure out how to fix, and I finally figured it out, which I'll post before this, hopefully. But um, but this app really has helped me to learn uh, what I'm doing because this just made it a whole ton easier. Uh, there's a lot of settings up here you can mess with. Uh, your receivers. I hope. I wonder if I can rename that one. No, I guess not. Okay. 
I can open that receiver. That's its IP on the network. Uh, I got some general settings. Tell it to show just the channels that I get, uh, which it was showing all channels. We'll do just the ones that I get, make it easier. Um, I've got it hiding SD duplicates, and I've got it uh, showing the HD I'm showing on demand. Uh, that's another thing that I learned on the receiver that I thought was pretty neat. This particular one is a high definition television. So I went into the settings here and you can actually tell it. And I'm sorry for the shakiness. I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. You can actually go in here to settings and tell it to show. Hold on, let me see. Where is it? I'm trying to look through the camera here. It's not working for me. <laughs> All right, well, I can't hold it still enough. I think it's display. There's the resolutions. That's not what I wanted. Let me this one. No, that's the ratio. Well, I can't remember exactly where it's at, but somewhere in here you can tell it. Um, could be this one. No, that ain't it. I don't know. I can't see it through the camera. So, um, you can actually just tell it that you're only wanting it to show uh, channels like for this particular TV I can only have it show the HD channel but for the one in the living room it's not HD so I can tell it to only show me the SD channels and then that way you're getting it for the ratio your TV's meant to show it in that way it doesn't look weird and have bars on the sides or across the tops and bottom um, you're getting not only that but also uh, when you go to record something you're recording it for your TV's format I don't mind watching SD shows. They work just as, just as well as HD shows on mine. So, uh, had a moment of stop there. I'll have to edit this together. Anyway, uh, if the TV in the living room is recording uh, an SD show, it's actually using less space on the DVR. You can get 800 hours of standard definition versus the 300 hours with high definition. So, that's a good little uh, saving power not power saving space saving tip for that there's many other things this app has uh, I've showed you uh, a good basic inter uh, overview of each function that I've discovered so far there's probably more I have no idea uh, but this is this is the direct TV app for the iPad and uh, I'm liking it so that's direct TV if you're interested in getting direct TV you can use my referral link and get ten dollars off for ten months that's a total of $100 savings. Uh, they'll knock $10 off your monthly bill for 10 months. Uh, just visit the link below in the description, freewholehomedvr.com. I own that domain. It forwards you straight to DirecTV and applies the discount. So uh, that's that's pretty much what I have to show you. I will show you more guys, show you guys more stuff when I learn about it. <laughs> See you guys later.